All right, so here we are, Cork, Ireland, English Market, getting ready to get a local sandwich called the Cork Boy. Times are good, but times were not good earlier. Interesting adventure today. I got to tell you about a really simple $75 mistake that we made that uh, hopefully you don't make. So uh, yeah, here we go. Well, we've made it to the port of Cork, Cork, Ireland. They're getting the gangways put in place and it's time for a day of exploration. Highly likely be a green tour coach. So we do have quite the lineup of tour buses. We came into Cork an hour early, so it's interesting to see if all these tours adjusted or you just had like an hour extra just to stand by the ship. I don't know. Jay. Oh hey, what's up? Any expectations for the day? Well, I was hoping to start my day with some lucky charms and I didn't do that. I feel very disappointed in myself. I'm hoping to find a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow if we're lucky. Kiss some kind of rock. I hear there's a famous rock. Is it Plymouth Rock? There's something here you're supposed to kiss. Yes. I've heard. Um, yeah, it should be a good day overall, I think. It was in Euros. There's a All right, so we've had an interesting start to the day. <laughs> they gave us an extra hour here in the port, but because it came in an extra hour, the tour that we booked, I guess the bus came earlier. We missed the bus. All right, man. We missed the bus, and so now we're here with Roy, who's taking us out to Blarney, and we've kind of clown card the thing. So you got <laughs> Jay, Don, and D in the back. And uh, yeah, so we're on our way to Blarney where we will rendezvous, rendezvous with our Patty bus. Uh, but yeah, interesting start to the day. All right, so we've made it to Blarney Village. We had to take a taxi, so uh, 70, 70 euro with tips, so that's an additional expense. But we have met up with another one of the tour guides that at least they're gonna get us in and then we're gonna meet up with our tour guide, so interesting. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's going to be another one of those days where it's hard to escape how beautiful it is here. Just the ride over from the cruise ship and then so green, so blue, and just uh, beauty on top of beauty. I think we have the luck of the Irish with us though because we met up with another driver from the tour company. And if we hadn't, I don't think we would have been able to walk right in like we did, so I feel like we lucked out. So the big debate is we are at Blarney Castle, and it houses the Blarney Stone, which it's good luck to kiss the Blarney Stone. We have two hours where we have to be on the bus okay. and we're gonna make it this time. So the question is, do we, and I'm already breathing heavy because it's, it's gonna be some climbing. Do we climb to the top of the castle or do we explore? We're right at a point where it says 60 minutes from this point. I don't know, right now we're, I think we're gonna kiss the stone or at least look at the stone. I don't know. D, what's the thought process? Here? What's like, your decision tree? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity but there's also other things to see on the grounds too. Mm. I don't know. I would kiss it if I get up there. Hundred percent. It may stone. be worth. It may be worth <laughs> risking. I don't always. Yeah. Kiss a stone. Mick's not here. Keith's not here. Don, what do you feel? Yeah. I'll go with the flow. 
He's a flow guy. There is a there is a cave here to go see as well, right? The caves. Oh. We also got the flower gardens. The, property space. the jungle is right there. There was a sign that said jungle. Can I just kiss a random stone? Does that count? Yeah, a stone at <laughs> one. Like on the castle. <laughs> kind of excited to be standing here, 2023, post COVID, and I'm 60 minutes away of kissing a communal stone that everybody in line will be kissing before me. Seems a little gross, but I'm excited. It's good luck. Oh, what do you cool. get from kissing the Barney song? From what I've read, it's supposed to be the gift of gab. Well, if there's four people who need the, the gift of gab, <laughs> wow, it's us. I'm one of them. <laughs> That's right. Over to the left of the entrance is the I'm not climbing up there benches. All right, so we're almost to the 30 minute mark. We've had an opportunity to choose to continue on or to go to the cafe and toilet. <laughs> and uh, we've decided. Really good trips. Enjoy. It. Is it awesome? awesome. Do you awesome. recommend it? I would recommend it. Is it hard to get it under the stone? It is. Okay. You have to lay on your back, and pull yourself down a little bit, but it's well it's worth very it. Strong. You're very luckier safe. already. I do. I'm talking to you. Get the gap. Look at that. Yeah. I know. See, What's my your boss name? Where are you from? My name's Ron. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Ron, Ron, where are you from? I'm from Tampa, Florida. Everybody I meet from Cincinnati, standard question is it Gold Star or Skyline? Skyline. Skyline. All right, great. <laughs> Safe travels. <laughs> These folks have kissed the Blarney Stone and they're talking to strangers just straight off the bat, so I think we know what's coming up. Yeah, so this is the challenge. It's not an easy climb. I've also read online that if it's raining, this is really more challenging, so uh, we're proceeding at our own risk, but I think we're going to be okay. We've made it to the, to the base of the tower, we'll call it. So the ascension has begun inside of Blarney Castle. It's still like a half hour to the stone, we think. We think uh, it's a castle. It's nice that it's enclosed, right? Yeah. It's out, of, out of the heat a bit. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand up. Oh dear. Oh. Oh my. Is that the whole? Oh, it clears. Okay. Oh dear. It's scary. Watch your back. Get a little tight squeeze to get to the next section of stairs. Does it get better once you get through there? I'll let the big people go in front. Don't be tall. Don't be tall. Six foot five, six foot six. Yeah. Coming to the internal stairs. Wow. Yeah. How are you guys feeling? Good. How's everybody doing? So far, so good. <laughs> We're doing this so that we have the gift of gab. Oh, we just asked the people ahead, does it get worse? And they said, yes, it sure does. <laughs> Nothing to it but to do it now. You do it. Okay. There's a rope. Oh dear! Alright, I gotta start with my left. This may not be for the uh, claustrophobic. Oh, oh dear! Tony! Oh wow! I don't know what I'm doing anymore! Please don't go off the side, Jay. And I have big feet! There's an opening there. Big feet, little steps, Tony! Kinda reminds me of the uh... Big feet, little steps! The windmills of Kinderdyke. Ow! It's not horrible to hear, guys. I'm holding the rope. Tight little stairs, there is a rope to hold on to. We have an arrow turn here in case we get laid, laid siege yeah, to like while we're in the castle. We're getting there. There's plenty of headroom. So yeah, yeah. I'm not hitting my head up here, which is nice. But little yeah. tiny stairs. Who's <laughs> ever at the top? I mean, of the building, please. We're not at the top. <laughs> it said it was <laughs> arduous. <laughs> I heard that this is an arduous climb. We are curious as to what they meant when they said arduous. I think we know now. We know now. And the piper plays on as we ascend to the top of. I see an exit. No, no, I see light at the top of the tunnel. Never mind, it was a detour. It's not the actual exit. I'm excited for nothing. I mean, hopefully this will help you make your Blarney Stone decision. We didn't really know what to expect, so this is a... Uh, is this what we expected? It's a dead, yeah. I, it is. It's arduous. Jay expected this. I don't think I expected it to be like this, but it's not bad. What, what kicks are you rocking there, Dean? <laughs> Merrill's. Merrill's. Nice. Actually, I'm glad I wore these. Link in the subscription, in the description. Oh, narrow. How can I get more narrow? Three stairs to a drop. Oh. Oh, it gets more narrow. 
Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. More narrow doesn't sound fun. Oh, is that the end? Um, I think so. I see people in a line that is flat. <laughs> it does get narrower. But fortunately, if, if uh, I fit through it, you guys are perfectly fine. We did it! I, I, I didn't see any warnings about it. Restriction. Oh, these last stairs are a little challenging, but we're there. Freedom! Yeah, me move so you're not going to kind of get out. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to go backwards. I'm afraid I'm going to fall right now. No, we're going to make it. It's just very Here we go. Oh, it's turned. That was a thing that we just did. Wow. Oh that last little bit, super tight. But again, I'm larger than most, so if I can make it, you guys can make it. <sighs> this is so much more free. <laughs> okay, I know it's like stupidly obvious, but certainly you build something like this so that you can see your enemies advancing on you. Uh, you definitely, if you got people watching, I don't think you're gonna get surprised by an attack. Oh, oh there's the gardens. Yeah, guys. down into the gardens from here. That's awesome. Almost. Yeah. It's almost. This looks like the Blarney House. What I went to that door. Over there. <laughs> All right. We've got to basically shed everything to kiss this Blarney stone. So I've removed my hat and my glasses, and uh, I can't really see anything. But yeah, I gotta climb up the rest of these stairs. Don't drop the kitchen window. Ooh. Those stairs are steeper than I thought. <laughs> it looks like there's a bypass there. No, but you can get to the exit this way too. So can you just jump? Oh, I guess you could. All right, so we're getting really close. Uh, Jay said it's been about an hour and 15 minutes since we got in line, so <laughs> 60 minutes may not be enough time. We, uh, we've got about 57 minutes to get to, okay, well, to the bus that we've never been on because we missed it earlier. So I'm not saying there's a little tension in the air, but uh, we got to make out with a rock first and then uh, navigate down the castle and make it to our bus. Uh, all within 50 I think we'll do it. It's, it's all good. But um, I'm looking forward to kissing the, the Blarney Stone. I mean, looking forward seems like a strong thing to say, but it's going to be interesting, I think. A couple things. All right, to kiss the Blarney Stone, you're going to have to get on the ground on your back and then walk into the Blarney Stone. The steps kind of undulate down, up. So uh, this is a super you got careful this, you got this, you're going to do it. Ready to go, sir? All right, yes. Okay. There's the, grab that bag. Right. 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 You hold the bag. Does it looks like it's quick, it's just getting down there that's a little bit. I'm going through the metal barrels above your shoulders. Alright. We'll know the bottom. Yeah, that's Thank you. You're welcome. The smooch was there. Yeah. You could hear it all the way here. Oh yeah, you had to make a smooching sound, right? Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. The head back is just it. Nice. Good job, Don. Yeah. So, oh. yes, no, I do it again. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. Wood kiss again. Oh, yeah. Very excited. Yeah, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to come in here with the murder hole. Is that the murder hole? Well, all right. The descent was much more easy than the ascent. Excuse us. <laughs> wow. And we're free. Ooh. Well, what did you think, Dee? What was your. Uh, it was not scary, like people think it is. Um, quick and easy, you just lean all the way back, do what they say, follow the rules, you'll be fine. The stairs were scarier than the kissing part. The stairs were scarier. Don, what did you think? Well, I kissed the Blarney Stone, yeah. and I have now the gift to gap. There you go. So all the people who say I run on in my videos, yeah. get ready. <laughs> the <video is> just <laughs> it's gonna get worse from now on. <laughs> I thought I was going to be stuck in there forever and become a permanent fixture. They just put a sign on me and say, you know, idiot, and, and, and people could just pay extra and look at me. But we did it. All right, so that's a bucket list. I kissed the Blarney Stone. I thought it was going to be like a round stone. It really was just like one of the stones in the castle wall. It was different. It was smooth, but I, I thought it was going to be like a, like a magical red something or green something, but just part of the wall, but very cool. Very cool. So luck of the Irish here in Blarney. And if you can hear, still there in the distance, the wee faint piper plays on. One last look at the castle here. 
as we make our way toward the exit. Right here, Alan. Alan, thank you so much for getting us connected back up. You're more than welcome. We appreciate oh, watch it. Watch out for the car, guys. Yeah, we just <laughs> met Richard from Patty, Patty Wagon. And what was your name, sir? My name is Brian. Brian, Brian, yes. Richard, Alan. We're, we're in good hands here today, for sure. Who is this? Hey, what's your name? I don't know where she went. Huh? I need to play him off tomorrow. Yeah. And we follow. Well, I wish you guys could smell this market. It's crazy. There's like a confection shop next to us and interesting spices behind us. So we're at O'Flynn's Gourmet Sausage Company. The tour guide recommended that we go get a sausage sandwich called the Cork Boy. So it's like a five euro sandwich. Not sure what it's going to be, but it's a highly recommended. So we popped out of the English market. We're still on the same street. Uh, got some coffee, but not Starbucks, as you might suppose. Uh, you got the White Rabbit right next door. So we're trying to uh, trying to patronize the locals. So good iced Americano. Won't take too long. It'll take about four hours. Here we go. I'm only joking. Um... So we took a little drive through the Irish countryside and we find ourselves in the town of Kinsale. A quaint little town on the water. Uh, really supposed to be like a foodie place, so we're wandering around just uh, checking out the sights. We got two hours in Kinsale. the leader our leader Jay and we found this really cool ice cream shop called Sunday I think actually D saying she's the one that found it either way one of the one of the pair of D and J found this but uh, yeah the ice cream is really good I got vanilla ice cream and a waffle all right I think our time is over here gonna jump back on the paddy wagon head back to uh, Port of Cove Port of Cork and uh, get back on the cruise ship. It's a good day here in Ireland. This is a tip hooker, and how this works is, when you put your money in there, what I do with your money is I invest it in Ireland through me, through Guinness. It also feeds my 45 kids, line number three. <laughs> tip advisor keeps my boss happy, tip hooker keeps my wife happy. Story of life, happy wife. Happy life. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the pleasure. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, okay? Enjoy Ireland. Alright, quick time check. It's 2.33 a.m. Uh, now it is the morning of June the 4th. Sunday morning, so... I gotta meet the crew. Uh, basically right below me at 9 a.m. But I wanted to make sure I got finished this story and got it out to you. Uh, the mistake that we made is because we missed Guernsey, the cruise ship came into the port of Cove an hour early. We booked a third party excursion and their website said that whenever the ship comes in, the excursion happens 30 minutes after the ship docks. 
We had a big discussion the night before whether that meant it would still keep the original time of 9 a.m. or whether the timer would start from 8 a.m. And we decided to get out early, so we all met around 7.30, and all we had to do was go out to the dock and we would not have missed the bus. But we sat and had our coffee and had some breakfast, and we didn't go out until 8.30. And what happened is the ship docked at 7.50, the bus showed up at 7.50, and then they left 30 minutes later at 8.20 and we came out at 8.30 and we missed it. So we had to take the cab, cost 70 euros with the tip, about 75 US dollars. And uh, it's a mistake we didn't have to make, but maybe it's a mistake that is gonna be helpful for somebody else, especially when you're dealing with third party, always pay super close attention to the website and um, maybe you won't have the same issues that we did but yeah, it, it happens, and uh, all's well that ends well. Wonderful day in the port of Cork. And uh, well, yeah, a few hours, we're gonna head to Dublin. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Tony for La Lido Loca, until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.